a revelation by Jesus Christ, which God gave to him. The Greek is explicit, no translation issues, no doubt about it. Edoken, autu, or auto, ha theos. Edoken, auto, ha theos. The God gave to him the revelation, the apocalypsis, the disclosure of divine information that we go on to read about in the book of Revelation that Jesus did not have before God gave it to him. Hotheos, Edoken, Auto to him. He gave the God. That's temporal. That is a temporal act that takes place and provides the risen, heavenly, non human Jesus divine information he didn't have. He's not omniscient, he's not co equal in knowledge with the God that gave it to him. Paul says that he was made an apostle by what is not a man, by something not human, by Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 1, 1, verse 1, and verses 11 through 12. So we know the risen Messiah is not a man. Paul tells us that explicitly. He says those exact words, is not something human, not from a man, but from Jesus Christ. Just look at verses 10 through 16. By inspiration I came to be in the Lord's day. I heard behind me a strong voice saying, What you see right in the scroll. I turned to see the voice speaking with me. And having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of the lampstand, someone like a son of man, clothed with a garment that reached down to his feet and girded at the breast with a golden girdle. Moreover, his hair... His head and his hair were white as wool as snow, his eyes as a fiery flame. And his feet were like fine copper when glowing in a furnace. His voice was as the sound of many waters. He had in his right hand seven stars. Out of his mouth a sharp, long, two-edged sword. His countenance was as the sun when it shines in its power. That is almost exactly, like 99% exactly the same as the description of angelic spirit beings given in Daniel. That's what Jesus is right now. He's not a man. Trinitarians are just lying to you because they don't have any other way to lie to you but to reduce him to something he's not, to explain things they can't explain because they don't understand. Jesus is not a divine person co-equal with the Father. The Father is greater than him in that he has more knowledge. He gives the Son knowledge right here. Divine knowledge. So Jesus is not omniscient. The risen non-human Jesus is not omniscient. And that's okay, Trinitarians. You know what? It's, it's actually okay. It's not bad that someone other than God Almighty, his son, has to be given information. Even Jesus told us while he, when he was on earth, no one knew the day of his coming but the Father. And you say, well, that's just when he was on earth. Okay, fine. He's not on earth here. He's not a man here. We just read what he looks like. Paul tells us what he is and what he's not. He's not human. Only a man in the historical sense in which he died is a man. He's a spirit. And God gave the Spirit, Jesus, whose description we just read, divine information. The Trinity is a false teaching. Stop believing it. Stop teaching it. Stop pretending it's biblical. You're blaspheming the God of the Bible. You may not be doing it intentionally. We understand some of you have been abused. You've been beaten down with the threat of heresy. You're confused. right? You've been taught all this is true. It's not. You know what's true right here. You know what's true, Philippians 2, 9 through 11. You know what's true, 
1 Peter 3.22. You know what's true? John 10, 33 through 36. The sons of God are gods. They either represent their father or they don't. There's one God, the Father. Not one God, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 8.6. Word for word, our primary belief. Your belief is not in these texts. In none of these texts. No matter what translation you use, it's next. It's later stuff. Authorized under the guidance of a pagan emperor and a bunch of false teachers and liars who couldn't even figure out that the resurrected spirit Jesus, the non-human Jesus at God's right hand, has to be given divine information. And that's okay. It doesn't make him a bad person because God gives him information. You know what it makes him? Not a member of the Trinity. That's all. That's all it does. It just removes the Trinity from the category of possible biblical teachings. Otherwise, it's no problem, right? It's actually a good thing. It's a good thing that Jesus, the one who has all authority and power, gets his information from God. That's a good thing, Trinitarians. It's not a bad thing. He's just not a human here. He's just not part of a trinity here. 